What if I told you? Someone in South Africa just cooked an entire meal using only sunlight and scrap metal. No electricity, no gas, no firewood, no smoke, just sunlight and some leftover junk. This isn't science fiction, this is real. And the man behind it isn't a millionaire scientist. He's a humble innovator from a dusty township who turned scrap into sustainable power. If you care about climate change, food security, or just believe in African brilliance, it's time to pay attention. Hey, subscribe now so you never miss stories like this. Let's get into it. I will be sharing the clips of this groundbreaking technology with you folks just in a moment. However, before that, let me brief you little about the man behind this innovation. In the heart of Limpopo, South Africa, a local man whose name hasn't even reached global headlines, has done something revolutionary. Using only a scrap satellite dish, some broken mirrors, and a touch of genius, he built a solar parabolic stove that can cook just about anything. Frying, boiling, baking. His cooker handles it all. It's simple, powerful, and smoke-free, and it didn't cost thousands of dollars. It was made with materials most people throw away. Oh, by the way, have you subscribed yet? African inventors like this deserve more spotlight than celebrities. Let's break this down. His invention is based on a concept called a parabolic solar cooker. At its core, a parabola is a shape that naturally focuses all incoming sunlight to a single point. He salvaged an old satellite TV dish, reshaped and lined it with broken mirror pieces, carefully angled to reflect sunlight to one central spot where the cooking pot sits. With this setup, he can boil a full pot of water in just minutes, fry eggs, cook rice, or even simmer soup. All without electricity, without fuel, and most importantly, without cost. And that's the magic. Zero energy bills, zero pollution. Let's talk impact. Across rural South Africa, and much of Sub-Saharan Africa, millions still rely on firewood and paraffin stoves. This leads to deforestation, indoor air pollution, respiratory illnesses, and massive time-wasted collecting wood, especially for women and children. But solar cookers like this, they change everything. In trials across parts of South Africa, solar cookers have been shown to reduce wood use by up to 60%, improve indoor air quality by over 80%, and cut household cooking costs drastically. Think about it. One man's junk just became another family's lifeline. Now here's what makes this story even more inspiring. He didn't buy a kit. He didn't order parts online. He built everything from abandoned satellite dishes, mirror shards, rusted bolts, and brackets from old bicycles. That's true grassroots innovation. He mounted the satellite dish on a rotating stand so he can adjust its angle as the sun moves throughout the day. With a little grease, a lot of patience, and pure creativity, he created something that multinational companies still haven't figured out how to do cheaply. It's not just a stove, it's a statement. Let's walk you through a cooking session. At around 11 a.m., he sets up the parabolic dish, tilts it toward the sun, places a pot of water at the focal point, and waits. Within 10 to 15 minutes, the water is bubbling. Add rice, vegetables, or stew ingredients, and it's cooking like on any electric stove. No charcoal, no LPG tanks, no matches, just sunlight and ingenuity. By midday, you're eating a hot meal, cooked entirely for free. A 49-year-old Limpopo man has invented a solar-powered stove. Tikata Ali Mativa from Kubvi village outside of Toyando has designed the fully functional stove using recycled materials. The materials include a satellite dish and mirrors. The stove harnesses solar energy to boil, fry and cook without the need for electricity or gas. Rendani Ralipaswa visited the inventor and filed this report. In a time when rising electricity and gas prices are affecting households across South Africa, Matiba has found a solution powered by nature. Using only the power of the sun, this stove eliminates the need for firewood, gas or electricity. Matiba's solar stove is eco-friendly, cost-effective, easy to use and completely emission-free. The stove works by reflecting sunlight onto a central cooking point, reaching temperatures high enough to fry food, boil water and cook food. 
Matiba says he first created a small one that did not work according to his expectations and he then decided to build a bigger one that reflects more sunlight. He says the idea came from wanting to save on high electricity and guest costs. The idea of inventing a solar stove started when there was load shedding and I could see that my family was unable to cook and sometimes would go to bed hungry. I also saw that they were unable to afford electricity as it was very expensive and during winter the electricity would run out fast. So this stove helps us a lot and when there is sunlight, even during early morning, you can cook all kind of meals from bath, meat and also you can boil water to bath. Matiba hopes his solar stove invention will attract support from different spheres. He hopes to invent more to supply the communities. I want to see this stove being used not just in Limpopo but in South Africa and beyond. I built this stove here at home and it's not a safe environment for kids as I use sharp objects and materials like grinders and then I have to cut the glasses into tiny pieces. I would like a warehouse where I will be able to work freely without fear of hurting anyone. And I also don't have a high quality grinders and drills and that affects my work. So I don't have transportation and I would love to be assisted by a baki that can help me transport the stoves to the customers. Matiba also wants to transfer the skills to the youth in and around his community to cap unemployment. If the stove become in demand, I will not be able to design everything alone. I will need assistance. And my wish is to employ people in and around my community so that they can help me with the demands and also to get the youth out of the streets. Family members say the solar stove has helped them prepare meals even during blackouts. It is also saving on electricity costs this winter. It is not basically a family matter. It uh, is basically for the, the, all, the, the whole area that uh, sometimes we see areas which are dark cities, and we think, well, electricity has been cut off, whereas it is a matter of finance, money to buy uh, electric energy. Community members welcome and appreciate the invention. I am happy for him. Tikatari has always been a bright child. Two or three years ago, he created a fan just using a bucket. He also created a swing for his siblings. When we saw that he created the solar stove, we were not surprised. He is simply demonstrating his God-given talent. And I hope that this stove is recognized all over the world. Matiba's friend says with the ongoing load shedding and reduction in their village, the stove has become a potential solution to energy challenges and deforestation. Every day in our village and other villages across Limpopo, you will find people cutting down trees for firewood, which is not good for the environment as it causes climate change. I believe the stove will also help us with saving electricity costs. It is eco-friendly when it is hot, there will be no need for people to use firewood.
In a world where innovation is often out of reach for rural communities, Matiba solar stove invention is a reminder to many that solutions do not always come from laboratories, but can also come from a backyard in Kuvi. Matiba stove is also not just a stove, it is an invention to the future, eco-friendly and affordable. Rendani Ralipasa, ACBC News, Kuvi. Now let's be honest, solar cooking has its limits. It needs sunlight, which means it's harder to use during cloudy or rainy days. It requires adjusting the parabola to follow the sun's movement. And well, it can't cook at night. But here's the genius part. He's already working on hybrid stoves, solar by day, biomass or thermal retention at night. He's also teaching local kids how to build their own cookers, passing the knowledge forward. This isn't just a one-man invention, it's turning into a community revolution. So, what can we learn from this? You don't need a PhD to solve big problems. You don't need big money to change lives. You just need a mind that refuses to be boxed. This South African innovator saw a problem. Smoke-choked homes, wasted fuel, and expensive cooking, and he said, what if I used what the world throws away? And now, he's feeding families saving trees, and inspiring the continent. Let me ask you, if he can do this with junk and sunlight, what's stopping us? Africa is not poor. Africa is not waiting for aid. Africa is innovating silently with tools the world ignores. This man's solar stove is just one example, but there are hundreds, maybe thousands more like him. If we don't share these stories, who will? Subscribe right now if you believe in African brilliance. Comment below. Would you try building a solar stove in your area? Hit the bell so you never miss the next genius like this. And if this inspired you, consider dropping a super thanks, because your support helps amplify the voices that truly matter. The sun rises every day for free. It's time we started cooking with it. Africa is not waiting for the future. Africa is building it from scratch.